So this evening from Las Vegas, Nevada, there will be a press conference for WrestleMania 40. Rock's going to be there. Roman Reigns is going to be there. Cody Rhodes is going to be there and a plethora of others. But what everyone's wanting to know is what's going to get announced for WrestleMania with those three men, The Rock, Cody Rhodes, and Roman Reigns. And we're going to tell you everything we know leading up to tonight, everything we have heard since last night as far as all of this stuff does go, and then maybe make predictions on what we think could get announced at the actual press conference later this evening from Las Vegas, Nevada. So when we start this, we have to go all the way back to WrestleMania 39. WrestleMania 39 happens. Cody Rhodes challenges Roman Reigns for the WWE Undisputed Universal Heavyweight Championship and comes up short, doesn't win, and says, I still want to finish the story. The next night, he tells Roman, you beat me, but you had help. You didn't do it on your own. I want another shot. Roman then says, I'm not taking you on one-on-one. -on -one. I'll do a tag match. You need a partner. Out would come Brock Lesnar. So we think we're getting Roman and a member of the bloodline against, well, Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. Brock Lesnar then turns on Cody Rhodes, attacks him. Roman Reigns disappears. And seemingly, they have pulled Cody Rhodes away from Roman Reigns. Fast forward to this January, and a couple of things happen. A, on January 1st, 2024, Jinder Mahal's in the ring. Jinder Mahal's in the ring talking about how he's being overlooked, and out would come Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock would come down, say a couple things to Jinder Mahal, take him out, and then say the, the, the line, San Diego, I'm getting hungry and I need a place to eat. And he ends it with saying, should I sit at the head of the table? Everyone's aghast. The internet's a stir. Rock just said he wants to face Roman, basically. Fast forward a couple of weeks and we go into the Royal Rumble. Everyone's like, who's going to win the Rumble? Is it Cody? Is it CM Punk? Who's going to win the Royal Rumble? And it comes down to those final two. Cody, CM Punk. Cody eventually does win the Royal Rumble, points at the WrestleMania sign, and then points at Roman Reigns. Now, we do know that CM Punk did get injured in that match, and some are saying, oh, was CM Punk supposed to win and Cody winning was an audible? No, because they had t-shirts already made and there on hand that said winner, Cody Rhodes, it had the American Nightmare logo, all that. So Cody winning was the plan. That is a, a very integral part to this story. Cody winning was the plan, even though, let's go back to January 1st, Rock shows up, takes out Jinder Mahal. Two days later, has a meeting with TKO officials to officially say, yes, I will join the board. Apparently, according to a report from Dave Meltzer, that's also the day that they set in motion that The Rock will face Roman Reigns in some capacity at WrestleMania. So, Rock has been under the assumption since January 3rd, he's going to face Roman Reigns. So then that brings up the question, then why did Cody win the Rumble? Is Cody going to face Seth? Cody going to face Roman? What is going on? We go to Monday Night Raw right after the Royal Rumble. Cody's like, I think you guys know what I'm going to say, but out comes Seth Rollins. Stakes his claim on why you should face me, why you shouldn't face Roman, why my title means more now, and so forth. Then Cody goes, well, I got a lot to think about. The next day on social media, Seth Rollins then posts another video and is like, hey, this is why you should choose me. And Cody goes, well, I'll be at SmackDown on Friday. We'll see. We get to that SmackDown the Friday after the Royal Rumble, and some interesting photos emerge online that show us that The Rock is working out at a gym in Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama is where, well, SmackDown was that night. So people start speculating and assuming, and not long before the show goes on the air, Dave Meltzer does report Rock is there. And tonight, we will maybe get it announced, but at least heavily teased what the plans are for WrestleMania. So at the end of the show, Roman Reigns in the bloodline, the end of the ring, and Roman starts talking. He starts talking about Seth. He starts talking about Cody, and out comes Cody. Cody asks for the bloodline to leave, and Jimmy and Solo leave. Cody then starts talking about finishing the story, wanting Roman's belt, stating that he's gotten advice from many people, talked to a lot of people, and there's one person he got counsel from that, well, knows Roman very well. We then hear, if you smell what the rock is cooking, out comes the rock, and Birmingham, Alabama goes crazy. Rockets in the ring. Cody cannot take his eyes off of him and has a quite somber look on his face. The two embrace with a hug. 
Brock pulls him in and says something to Cody, according to a report from Fightful, that's something about their fathers. The two shake hands, essentially, and Cody says, Roman, I want your title, but not at WrestleMania, and gets out of the ring. The Rock then eventually turns his attention to Roman. The two come face-to-face, -face and no words are said. We then go to that weekend, and the internet is on fire. For 72 hours, we want Cody is trending. Because, well, everybody wants Cody to face Roman at WrestleMania, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This stuff is so bad that fans are saying they're going to boycott. Fans are saying, if it's The Rock, I'm not going. I'll sell my ticket. They're even sending death threats to The Rock's own daughter to the point where the death threats were being investigated and she deactivated her Twitter. So we go to Monday and people are still talking about Cody, Roman, Rock. And... Think about all this. Roman hasn't done anything. Roman hasn't done anything other than just be like, I'm the champ. Who's going to face me? What's the plan? Cody said, I don't want you at Mania. Rock showed up. And so we go to Raw. Seth Rollins opens the show and says, come on, Cody. We saw what happened on SmackDown. Come out here and tell me what your plan is. Cody comes down, says, world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins. St. Louis. What do you want to talk about? Before he can really say much more, crowd starts chanting, Rocky sucks. There are a plethora of We Want Cody signs in the, in the crowd. Pat McAfee and Michael Cole bring up all the social media stuff, and then out comes Drew McIntyre. McIntyre comes out and goes, Cody, 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 no, you want to finish the story? I want you to finish the story, because that way I can take on Seth at WrestleMania if you're not. Cody never says another word after Drew comes out. So... Drew says all this stuff on why Cody should face Roman because he wants to face Seth. Seth then says, hey, even if Cody doesn't pick me, what makes you think you're automatically getting the shot? This then angers Drew. Drew headbutts Seth, and that's the end of the segment. We then learn a couple of new things. A, as stated previously, we did learn that all of this has been in motion, essentially, since January 3rd when The Rock agreed to join the board of TKO. And in turn, there was kind of like a talent clause in that deal. And that talent clause is leading to him doing something at WrestleMania physically in the ring with Roman. Mike Johnson of PW Insider put out a report stating that 100% The Rock will be doing something in the ring with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But this report from PW Insider never actually officially says Rock Roman one-on-one -on -one is what we're hearing. And also never actually says that Cody's not involved with Rock and Roman. So now that leads people to start saying, okay, a couple of things can happen here. A, it's Rock and Roman on one night, Roman and Cody on the other night. B, it's a triple threat. Or C, Rock is some sort of a special enforcer, special guest referee. We'll get back to those what-ifs, possible predictions in a moment. So we hear some other things like, Cody didn't know about The Rock even being involved until Friday right before he went to SmackDown. A lot of people on the creative team didn't know Rock was going to be involved. At one point, the plan was Cody Roman, Seth Punk. Punk gets hurt. Punk's got to be pulled. Now it sounds like they're going to shift Cody over to Seth, and then we go from there, but that's apparently not the plan. Cody may still be involved with Rock and Roman somehow, according to multiple reports from multiple parties. So again, now we go back to the prediction of what could this be that gets announced at the press conference. Well, we could just say right now, there's a shot that we don't even get anything announced for Cody at the press conference. We don't get anything announced for Rock at the press conference. Now, Rock has been saying the words long game. Rock has been saying, and he said it in an Instagram post, and he said it in a video last night posted by WWE, We're playing the long game. Long game can mean a couple of different things. Long game can mean, A, we've been building this up since 2015 when I helped him win the Royal Rumble. Or long game can be, B, we ain't doing this till WrestleMania 41. Now, again, there was that report from Mike Johnson of PW Insider that did state, no, Rock is doing something physically in the ring with Roman this year, WrestleMania 40. But doesn't make me think that they're extending this out to WrestleMania 40. Now, they could. And I have no inside knowledge on all this other than what everybody has read from the reports online and all the tea leaves that have been dropped by everybody going forward. So it's like, I, they could stretch the Rock Roman to 41, but I don't think they do. 
So then you go back to your three options. Rock just doesn't have a match, and some of these reports are false. Rock faces Roman in one match, and Cody gets the second match, whether that's both in one night or both nights. Triple threat, which not a horrible idea, but not great. And then the special guest referee, special enforcer, which is the one I don't like at all. Because if Cody is going to beat Roman for the title, I don't want Cody to have any help. Cody's whole thing was, I almost beat you, but you needed help to beat me. If you didn't have help, I would have beat you. So if then Cody has help from The Rock to beat Roman, I almost think that would diminish his win and already start him on a bad note as the champion. But regardless, those are your options based off of everything that is being teased. Those three things are what I think could get announced. Now, in retrospect, in the overall grandeur of everything, I still think WrestleMania 40 ends Sunday night with Cody Rhodes as the undisputed WWE heavyweight champion, whether he wins it on Saturday or wins it on Sunday. When WrestleMania night two Sunday is over, Cody is the champion in some form, fashion, or way. So that is everything that we know. That is my prediction on what we could see tonight at the press conference. And now we just sit and wait and see if anything else does get announced, does get teased, and does get put out there before this press conference even takes place. We will have way more coverage of this after the press conference. We will have a full breakdown of everything that takes place at the press conference. Once that does go off the air, you can watch it on Peacock. You can watch it on Twitter. You can watch it on Instagram. You can watch it on Facebook. You can watch it on Twitch. And you can watch it on YouTube. So with that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what you think gets announced tonight at the press conference in Las Vegas, Nevada from the T-Mobile Arena when it pertains to The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Cody Rhodes.